So one of the good features with this endoscope camera, you have this knob and you can twist the camera like this. Hello, it's Olimek. So if you've been here for a while, you know sometimes I do product reviews for cleaning carbon buildup on the piston head and also the intake valves just to make the engine runs better and also have better fuel efficiency. So with product testing and reviewing, it's important to show you that if it works or not. So for that, taking the picture before using the product and after using the product is the most important thing for you guys before buying the product. So I did this video for cleaning intake valves on Nissan Kicks and for that I had to remove the whole intake manifold just to take the picture before using the product but when I did the carbon buildup on the piston head cleaning on this car it wasn't that much a problem because I can send the endoscope camera from the spark plug hole there wasn't any twisting it was straight pipe and I could see the piston like this but when you have complicated bend like this it will be a bit challenging to run the camera through to get access to the exhaust valve which I couldn't do that with these endoscope cameras so the problem with these endoscope cameras when you have object in the front you don't have any problem but if you have obstacles and you have to run it through and you have a complicated bend then it will be stuck like this or the cable will be like this but I had another problem I wanted to look at the back you also get attachment mirror you can put it here and you can see it but the quality not gonna be that good and you will see like a circular because of the mirror I wanted to have something like an actual camera and looking at the back like this so that's what we have this endoscope camera from k -Wheats. and if we open it it's a nice package and this is the endoscope camera itself here is the user manual this is the model kba01 charging cable and it comes with different attachments you have magnetic just a ring for protection mirror and a hook and here is the endoscope camera itself so one of the good feature with this endoscope camera you have this knob and you can twist the camera like this Stick around if you think this endoscope camera is useful for you. Just comment down below why would you need this endoscope camera. And I will give away one completely sealed unit for free. And if you have obstacles in the front, you can direct the camera and push the cable. And it's not going to be stuck. So that's the important thing with this endoscope camera. And you can go all the way to the back. And also the other side as well. So for the attachments, you have four. This is the magnetic one and it will be screwed on like this so you don't have to be worried about if it will drop it. Here we have the mirror. I don't think you will need the mirror because this will be twisted and you can look at the back. And here is the hook if you want to pull something. And if you are not using any of these attachments you can put this ring on and it will protect the thread. Alright here we have the SD card reset button and type-c charger it's a good thing it already comes with the sd card so let's turn it on let's remove the protective film and now we can turn it on you can also turn the light on and off here we can take a picture that's a nice feature it's also showing you the temperature so if you are putting in a hot water or something it will show you the temperature as well so let's test it on the engine and see what we have so the first challenge will be to look at the intake and also the exhaust valve from the spark plug hole so i'm going to remove the cover and remove one spark plug and look at it with the in-scope camera all right now the spark plug is removed now we're going to look at the piston head see how much carbon builder we have and then we're going to twist it to look at the intake valves and also the exhaust valves and the quality looks very good so first we're going to turn the light on the quality looks very good and now I'm going to take a picture so we can look at it on the computer the picture quality looks very good and it's sharp but you still can zoom it there's one zoom, there's two, there's three, and that's the normal one. We usually need a wide angle so we can see everything. But now I will push it a bit more so I can look at the intake valves. I can already see the spark plug hole that the Inscope camera came through. And also showing us the temperature and it's rising. It's 54 degrees. The engine is not that hot. I just turned it on and pushed back a bit. That's why we have some heat in the engine but we can already see the valves and it's very clear so now I'm gonna straighten up and then we can get out so that's the advantage of this endoscope camera all right now I'm gonna put the spark plug back and also the coil so the next challenge will be 
looking at the exhaust valve from the oxygen sensor. I couldn't do that with other endoscope cameras, so we're gonna put this a test and see if we can reach exhaust valves. All right, we finally did it. I couldn't do that with any endoscope camera, but we could go through oxygen sensor all the way to the exhaust valve. And here we can see the exhaust valve. The video quality looks very good and it's very bright. Here's the catalytic converter. We can see the edges. I can see a part of it broken here, but overall it looks very good. So far from all the endoscope cameras I used, this is the best one. So what do we think about Kiwi's endoscope camera? Well, I think the quality is very good. The video is very good. But the only thing I don't like about it, it's the zooming. I wish it was wider angle a bit. But it's very good when you want to reach some of the obstacles like we tested to reach the exhaust valves. I will make sure to use this endoscope camera in my upcoming videos for testing products. Kiwi's website will be in the video description box below for more information. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.